The Washington Post, which used to be just kind of a liberal newspaper and now is just pure propaganda and unreadably stupid, managed to somehow blame the president for Hurricane Florence. They said he was, quote, complicit in the storm because of his positions on climate change. It's a pretty big claim to make. Is it true? We thought we'd talk to an actual meteorologist on the question, not just a New York Times, a Washington Post propagandist. Dr. Roy Spencer is a meteorologist. He's the principal research scientist at the University of Alabama in Huntsville, and he's the author of Inevitable Disasters, Why Hurricanes Cannot Be Blamed on Global Warming. Doctor, thank you very much for coming on tonight. Um, well, thanks for I having me, that, Tucker. I know that you acknowledge the Earth is getting warmer, and there's a debate about why. But there's also this second debate that plays out in the popular press about whether the warming trend is causing more severe weather events like hurricanes. Is it? Well, it has gotten warmer, as you said. Uh, since the 1950s, there has been a warming trend. But what we haven't seen in terms of any long-term uh, weather measurements is whether there's been any change in severe weather. There hasn't been any increase in hurricanes. Uh, and that's on a global basis in the United States. The, uh, the frequency of hits of the United States by major hurricanes has gone down by 50 percent since the 1930s and 1940s. There's been no increase in droughts, no increase in floods. Tornadoes are down. But still, weather varies a lot, especially hurricanes, year to year, decade to decade. So there's a huge amount of variability, okay? Some of them stall, produce a bunch of rain. Certainly, North Carolina is going to have a major flooding disaster. But this is what Mother Nature does naturally. And if there's a human influence in there, you wouldn't know it because there's so much natural variability. So I'm confused. We, I know that we keep pretty good records on hurricanes going back more than 100 years. So the data are available to anybody with Google. We know whether or not there's been a dramatic increase, and you just stated the numbers for us. So given that there hasn't been, how can people claim there has been and that global warming is to blame? I don't know. Why do people like the Washington Post say such stupid things? Um, it's because the people that are informing us in the media about global warming are people like Al Gore, Bill Nye the science guy, Neil deGrasse Tyson, people that don't know anything about atmospheric science. Uh, you, you just have to look wait, at the wait, history. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Let me, let me just interrupt you. Bill Nye is a science guy. It's in his title. Did, so that, that doesn't mean he knows a lot about atm atmospheric science? Uh, well, no, he doesn't. He's, he's not a trained scientist. Uh, I believe he's oh. an engineer of some sort. Plus, he has a widely viewed YouTube video called Climate 101, where he faked an experiment. He put CO2 into a jar and shone a bright light on it and tried to show that it caused the jar to warm up inside because of the extra CO2. But a TV meteorologist, yep. Anthony Watts, cleverly showed that the whole thing was faked. <laughs> It's, it's ridiculous. What? I, you know, and I believed in Bill Nye, the science guy, till tonight. Doctor, thank you. It's nice to have someone who actually knows what he's talking about on the show. I appreciate thank, it. Thank you, Tucker.